What's going on y'all, Juan here, and today I wanna to talk about overcoming the slow season blues. And before we can even get into this, we need to acknowledge everything we've been through the past couple of years with the pandemic. It's been so much on us mentally, and I feel like a lot of people that didn't even process what's been going on the past couple of years, it's only added stress on top of what we're going through currently with our weird slow season that's going on this year. Now, there's people that are doing well, and there's people that are a bit slow, especially people that may have just started the whole journey of full-time freelance. It's okay. Don't drive yourself crazy. Don't think you did something wrong. Everyone pretty much across the board is experiencing some type of slowness in the creative space this year, and that's okay. So I wanna share a few pieces of advice that I do, and I'm sure other people do to overcome the slow season blues. The first thing I wanna talk about is finding community. When you surround yourself around like-minded people, especially if they're positive and they bring you life, that goes a long way with just easing the anxiety, easing the stress of your day-to-day -day life, okay? Now, there's communities online where you could find them on different platforms such as Discord, various websites, forums, you name it. And if you're in a city where you're fortunate enough to even gather in person, that's even better. Here in Philadelphia, there's an amazing group called Rough Cuts that meets every month and you have filmmakers that showcase their work, there's feedback that's provided, and then there's plenty of time to just meet and greet and just shake hands and meet various creatives that you can eventually work with in the future. That's something that's great. And if you don't know if that exists in your city, then you should go online and ask if these things exist. So the first thing, community goes a long way. The second thing I wanna talk about is having the ability of being good at wearing multiple hats. If there's one role in filmmaking that's slow for you, then you can find ways to make money and find opportunities in doing different things. For example, I run my own production company and if there's no work coming in for my production company, then I provide services as a sound mixer for other freelancers or other companies, and that's a way to stay busy. Now, if my production company is not bringing in work and I'm not getting calls in as a sound mixer, then I also play the role of producer. So there's three things, and there's more that I do honestly, but those are the three main things that I like to showcase to people. But if those three avenues are not working, then I go into the other roles that I like to play, which could be editing, color correcting, and so forth. So being good at multiple things can really help keep you busy. The third thing I wanna talk about is not driving yourself crazy on social media. Now, social media is a double-edged sword. It's a beautiful thing when you can connect with people, you can get inspired by seeing the things that you see on your timeline, but on the flip side, you can easily drive yourself crazy with comparing yourself with other people, seeing people being busy. I'll be honest, a lot of the times people are fake busy, they're just trying to put up content just to keep the algorithms going, and you don't know if that's a present thing or that's something that's been in the past, so then you start comparing yourself, you start driving yourself crazy, wondering why so-and-so is doing work and staying busy and you're not, and that's just not healthy at all. So it's really good to take social media breaks and it's really good to always remind yourself that half, I'll say half, half of what you see on social media is probably false anyway. The last thing I wanna talk about and it's probably the most important is perfecting your craft. When things are slow, there's nothing like practicing. Practice, practice, practice. It only makes you a better creative. And the great thing is, you can practice with others who may be slow as well, or who just have time available to connect with you. And that's a great thing because you get to learn chemistry with different people. And if they work very well in your workflow, these are the same people that you can bring on paid projects. When you're practicing, you can get creative. You can do things outside of your comfort zone and experiment and not have to worry about ruining a project on a client's dollar. That's something that you definitely don't wanna do, and I always highly recommend doing things in-house before you experiment and do those things on a client's dollar. These are just a few things that I recommend to keep you productive, inspired, and busy while connecting with great people as you tackle the slow season blues.